Oh, Father in heaven, as Moses recounted to the children of Israel on the border of the promised land, the first chapters of Deuteronomy, he points their attention to the mighty arm of God, the outstretched hand that has delivered them and brought them to the place that they were. He says in chapter 10 and verse 21, He is your praise and He is your God who has done for you these great and awesome things which your eyes have seen. Father, we praise you then for being the God that does great and awesome things. We have seen them. Let it be that you continue to do those big things in our lives. Let it be that you also do the small things. There's nothing that escapes your notice and nothing that overwhelms you. And so we come to you with our small things, things that are hurting our heart, tripping us up. And then the overwhelming things, brokenness in our families, financial loss and health issues, questions, about your love for us and what is right and wrong and what the decisions of our life should be. Those are big things, Father. And so we come to you, though surrendering them to you tonight, knowing that that Moses' voice can ought still to be heard. He is your praise and he is your God. He has done for you these great and awesome things which your eyes have seen. We give them all to you. And Father, as we prepare for another Sabbath. It's a reminder of our salvation, and it's pointing forward to the ultimate reunion we have with you. We pray that you would bless as we gather together and study the book Revelation again. May Jesus be unveiled to us and unveiled to all who gather. Bring those that you have been stirring their hearts. May they see Jesus. May we see Jesus and be forever changed until we see you face to face, according to your promise. In the name of Jesus, amen.